What's up you guys? How are y'all doing? Today I've got another summer inspirational lookbook for you guys. I've been trying out new brands and on the top of that list was a brand called Chic Wish. So I am thrilled to actually be working with them to bring you guys seven different looks today. I really love their site because everything is so feminine and vintage and all the pieces have very unique statement details. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in the description box. I also include a link at the very top to the blog post. You guys seem to be really liking this style. So if you guys want to browse the things in the video, some other of my favorite chic wish items, and also individual breakdowns of each outfit in addition to affordable alternatives, be sure to check that out. And feel free to let me know what your favorite outfit was down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching today. You guys are the best. I love you to death. If you guys are interested in seeing how I incorporate some of these fancier pieces into my more classic style, uh, let's get started. Starting out with our first outfit of the day, I call this a ray of sunshine. Obviously, this is a very straightforward outfit. It's all about this adorable cotton dress. I love this bright yellow color, especially for the summertime. It just makes me so happy whenever I throw it on. Great things about this dress is that it's a double tiered dress. You have an elasticized band underneath, but you get that nice billowy tiered effect. That's really great for those days that you don't wanna wear anything too form fitting. And I really love all of the scallop detailing along both of the tiers in addition to all the beautiful embroidery work. So with the accessories, I went with a blush bucket bag. I thought that the pastel colors looked really cute together. And then for shoes, I went with my favorite nude lace-up block heel sandals. The color matches well with the bag. The perforation looks so great with embroidery in the dress. And then it also has kind of like a curved, like scallop design that matches the actual hemline of the dress. So I thought this was the perfect shoe to pair with this outfit. It's subtle and it really lets that bright dress shine by itself. Moving on to outfit number two, I call this flirty frills because this white play suit is just the cutest little thing. This is an off the shoulder romper style. The actual neckline is elasticized in addition to the waistband. So you got that definition there. And then all of it is just voluminous, soft, fluffy white ruffles. Even though there's so much volume, it's so playful and fun. And there's so much like wispy movement whenever you're walking around. It's really just the cutest little number to throw on if you're not feeling a dress that day. So for accessories, I went with some more playful color accents, got my little summer straw tote, and then I actually took the little like faux leather tassel bag accessory off of another tote bag and threw it onto this one. The colors I thought matched a way better with my pair of shoes. These are my Soul Society wrap up fringe sandals that are just the cutest thing. The color is such a great pop, but it looks really great with the tan. And again, I loved it because it matched with the bright red tassel on my tote bag. If it's a hot summer day and you want to look a little bit dressier, more cutesy, and just have tons of fun, this play suit is going to be the outfit for you. Moving on to outfit number three, I've got this outfit called Bright Blooms. Obviously, it's all about this fabulous embroidered oversized button-down shirt. You guys know I love my button-down shirts and I thought this one was really cool just because it is oversized. You get a little bit more coverage on the butt area and it's all about this really cool contrasting bright floral embroidery on the chest area that contrasts really well with the bold stripes underneath. So with this one, I just wanted to tone it down with a pair of crisp white linen shorts. You can also wear it different styles. You can tuck it in for a full half tuck in the front with it loose in the back. You can have it all hanging loose like an oversized men's shirt or you can do kind of like a half streetwear tuck where you just tuck in one side. So many of you requested me to do a how to tuck in your shirt video so I'm going to be working on that very soon. Thank you guys so much for the feedback. And then for accessories I went with a matching pair of cognac pieces. I've got a cognac mini crossbody along with my new favorite cognac summer sandals. These are flat, double double white straps with some really cool buckle detailing. I just love how cognac pairs with that bright blue color. And this look is a great little casual look that combines menswear with the pinstripes and the oversized shirt, along with some feminine details with the floral embroidery. And moving on to outfit number four, I call this one Trey Chic. I'm sorry I'm butchering the pronunciation of that, but you guys get the gist. Now obviously the core of this outfit is this beautiful crochet 
bell sleeve black and white statement top this is something that is just so unique and I cannot believe how well made it is it's got so many different detailings with the different types of lacing the peek through of the skin and of course those graphic bold statements that the black makes even cuter the little trims along the side of the sleeves are actually made out of black velvet trim and then you get a white tank top with this shirt for some modesty so the shirt is not completely see-through to play off the graphic pop of the black I just pair this with a simple black denim skirt skirt just to peek underneath the top I really wanted to be the showstopper and then I paired it with a blush little clutch along with some simple pointy toed nude pumps just to elongate those legs as much as possible and I just think the pump adds a little bit more like classy elegance to this outfit versus a pair of summer sandals so impressed with how many details are in this one top and I can actually see myself wearing this well into fall season because I could pair it with a jacket and some black jeans too Outfit number five is a fun little sister to that last top. I've got another really cool statement blouse with some really dramatic bell sleeves. Except this one sports a really cool like navy nautical stripe pattern along with exposed slits on the sides of the bell sleeves in addition to a really cool ruffle. And it also comes with a cute little bow attached so you can tie all the fabric together to keep it nice and enclosed on your elbow. But it also adds like a nice little like doll-like touch to this whole top. So such a funky little top and it's a nice contrast to the last one because there is no skin exposure because it's not made out of crochet. With it I wanted to just kind of tone it down and go with the blues and paired it with a simple um, button down denim skirt. And then for accessories to break up all that blue I have a simple chic little cream lock crossbody bag. And then for shoes I went with my summer suede espadrilles for some extra height and of course as I mentioned I love how that cognac pairs with this rich blue colors. I ended up really loving this pairing. I think the A-line shape of the skirt matches really well with the bell sleeves and then having something high-waisted kind of swallows a lot of the volume of the shirt so it doesn't become overwhelming on my petite frame. Moving on to outfit number six, you guys know I cannot resist a good white t-shirt. So when I saw this one, I was like, yes, ma'am, I have to have it. The front of the shirt is like your favorite white t-shirt, crew neck, simple white, a little bit shorter on the hemline. And then in the back, it transforms into this beautifully U-shaped pleated like tail that cascades down and it just adds so much cool drama and elegance to this outfit. So I really wanted to just have a play on just a simple plain white tee and jeans. I paired it with some simple um, non-distressed skinny jeans and then for accessories I went with my favorite tan clutch of the season and some pair of classic nude pumps. This shirt is very unexpected but a very cool update to something that we all have in our closets and I can definitely see myself wearing this with a crop jacket to really play up the layers and really experiment with a lot of different looks with this top. And our last outfit of the day, we started with a dress and we're going to end with one too. This dress is like the perfect dress for all you girly girls out there. This blush lace is just so ultra feminine, but the cut is still very simple and classic. So I just think it balances it out really well. I can see myself wearing this to like a garden party or a tea party, brunch with the ladies, a wedding guest. And I also really like those contrasting trims along the sleeves, the waistband, and then also the neckline. For accessories, I kept it simple as I always do. Just a nice chic little cream clutch to go with the uh, pastels of the dress and then for shoes I went with some strappy single strap block heeled sandals one is something just nice and dainty to go with the theme of this look so this is a cute little dress for all you girly girls out there you can definitely wear this to multiple formal events or if you just want to feel a little bit like an extra princess that day <laughs> ain't no problem with that you guys all right y'all that does it for today's lookbook I really hope you guys enjoyed these sweet summer looks again everything in today's video is down below in that description bar so please be sure to check that out huge thank you to chic wish for partnering with me on this lookbook i love discovering new brands i love showing you guys new brands and all of the quality of clothes um did not disappoint i just want to say a personal thank you to you guys as always for supporting me and showering me with so much love i left you guys a little note down below in the comments um if you want to read it but i just want to say i love each and every one of you i hope you're having a really great summer vacation out there you guys are my everything i'm sending you guys so much love out there and i'll see you guys in a few days Bye!